If you want to learn how to do continuous damage to your player in Roblox Studio, even when they're standing still, keep watching and I'll show you exactly how to do it. <coughs> Welcome to Roblox Snippets. In this video, we'll look at how to uh, deal continuous damage to the player using a part. So in the uh, if you've got Studio open, then come up the top to the Home tab and we'll create a part in the workspace. Now we'll, we'll call this our Lava part. We're going to create some lava that uh, will signal danger to the player. All right. So down in the brick color, we'll change it to be uh, a really red and change the material down here to be cracked lava in the list. And then we'll come down. Let's make um, the size of our lava. Uh, we'll say 6 by 0.5 by 6. Um, could make it a bit bigger but that'll be fine all right and then come down to anchored so the part doesn't move and we've got this scary bit of lava here that the players can run on to to damage themselves all right now we're going to add a script to our lava part so go ahead and click on the lava part and the plus sign and add a script and we'll call this our lava script and inside here we're going to create a touched event uh, to start off with. Now, if you're not familiar with how to create touched events and you want to learn a little bit more, I have another video uh, called Trigger Parts, which you can uh, watch that uh, before doing this one if you like or if you want to learn more. However, it's um, it's not too hard, so just follow along. Right, we'll create a variable for our part for a start, and we'll call it Trigger, which will be script.parent. And just below this, we'll create a debounce value to control how often this uh, will run, all right, which is important because we don't want to kill our player instantly. All right. Now we're going to create two other variables here. The first one will be damage, um, damage rate, and we'll set that to be, say, 0.5. To start off with that's uh, in the demo at the beginning of the video that I'm using these figures but you can change them as you wish the second one will be the damage amount so how much damage and we'll say we'll do five damage uh, every half a second all right so they're the variables that we'll make use of now just below this we'll create our touched event and connect a function to this and pass in the parameter hit so we can see which player is touching the lava. Right. Create a variable for our character, which will be hit.parent. And then we'll need the humanoid inside of uh, the character, as we'll need the humanoid to do some damage. So uh, find first child, and we want humanoid. And now we can create a conditional statement so if db and humanoid then we can run our code and so the first thing we'll do is set db to false and then down towards the bottom of the uh, well actually we're going to we'll set this uh, db back to true down here now normally we would put a task.wait in here but we're going to do things a little bit differently to do the continuous damage all right so Instead of doing that, we're going to run a loop inside of here, and it will be a repeat until loop. So we'll put in here repeat, and down the bottom until. Now, if you haven't used one of these, it will run the code um, at least once inside here until whatever this condition here is met. Now, the condition that we're going to say needs to change is the floor material that the humanoid is standing on. All right, so we can say until humanoid dot floor material. So this is the, the a property that says uh, what the humanoid is currently touching. And we're going to say is not equal to, so that squiggly line is a shift, and the squiggly line is next to the one on your keyboard, so shift and then the squiggly line, so that's not equal to. And then enum. So enum is uh, built-in variables that uh, are created by Roblox, 
And in this case, we're going to say enum.material and cracked lava. So any code we put inside of this loop in here will run until the, the material that the humanoid is touching is not equal to the lava. So obviously we want to, inside of this loop now, say task.wait and this is where we're going to say slow the loop down by putting in the rate up here. So damage rate. Right, so whatever rate you put in here, this is how many times the loop will run around. And then we'll say humanoid colon take damage. And we'll put in the damage amount. All right, and that is all. So once the player is off the lava, the trigger event will whoops, uh, the trigger event will reset to true. So that way, if they run back on again, it will work again. All right. So let's um, click on file and save, and we'll give it a play. All right. I'm in the game and ready to run onto the lava. And when I do, you'll notice my health bar keeps going down up the top here. I'm staying on the lava. Now, if I run off the lava, all right, my health will automatically regenerate and I've stopped taking damage. All right, but if I run back onto the lava, I start taking damage again. All right, until, of course, I fall to pieces. All right, so uh, hopefully you found that video useful. And uh, if you did, I look forward to seeing you in future videos. If you found this video useful, subscribe now. For more information about my online courses, go to mrbrendanross.com.